Hello, friends, and welcome to Take Two for this Wednesday. It's hump day, September the 1st. Wow, 2021. I'm Jeannie. I am so glad you've decided to join me today and come along for the ride. Well, it is a new month. Uh, it is a new day. Thank goodness for this new day, because let me tell you, for those of you who had concerns, expressed concerns with us uh, last night as tornadoes tore through Dothan, Alabama, they were minor tornadoes, if there's such a thing. I mean, there wasn't anything that uh, killed anyone, thank goodness. It did tear some roofs off some buildings. It hurt one of the high schools here with some damage. But thankfully, we are safe and sound. And except for a couple of broken branches in our yard, we are okay. So thank you for everybody who expressed concern and sent their love to us and our pra and prayers to us because we are okay. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit today about a trip that I had to the Dollar Tree this past weekend. Now, I went into the store. I only had a couple of things to grab and then go back out again. But of course, as most stores are right now, they are very short-handed. So quite often, there's only one register open, maybe two. And on a Saturday, you know, that's that can be rough because people are going in there to grab their stuff for the weekend and, you know, or and that's the only chance they have. Well, I walked in also in a mad dash to just get a few things. Now, I'm a mosier. I love to mosey around stores. But that particular day, I had a list, a long list of errands to run. So I went into the store with the idea that I was going to go in, grab my two or three things, four things, and run back out again. And Michael even waited in the car. He said, look, I'll just wait in the car. You're only going to get a few things. So I went into the store, and just as I started grabbing these couple of things, there was a lady right behind me who came in, and she had a little daughter who was maybe three years old, and she put her in the shopping cart, and this little child, absolutely adorable, cute as a button, blonde hair, big eyes, just adorable, started singing. Just started singing. Now, I don't know if it was a Disney song or Frozen or any one of those, but for some reason, this child has got a notion to start singing. And she was singing, and apparently she thought she knew the words or did know the words, I don't know, but she's singing and singing. And her mother is pushing her you know, doing her thing and not hindering her daughter. Say, it wasn't annoying or anything. It was soft, but it was so precious because she just kept singing. Every aisle I went down, it seemed like they were almost just kind of right behind me. And I could hear the strains of this child singing. Well, I got to my checkout and I started getting annoyed because there was a person ahead of me and they couldn't find the price on something or there was one register open. They finally opened a second register and the lady with the little girl went in that one. So here I am on my aisle waiting, tapping my foot and, uh, and, and losing patience and one aisle over, one checkout aisle over is this woman with the little girl still singing. I got out to the car with my items and she was just leaving as well. It's like we came in together and we were going out together and that whole situation served as such a lesson to me. And that was this, while I was growing impatient, I, it was so silly of me because what was the big deal? I had to wait an extra minute or two, but even though that woman probably had to wait another minute or two, they kept on singing. See, here's the thing. It's all in the way you approach a situation like that. Her whole life was singing. Now, of course, she probably doesn't have the troubles and challenges that adults have. Her whole world was just singing. She was determined to start and finish that song and nothing was going to deter her from keeping in that happy mood and singing that song. So instead of tapping my foot and being impatient till it was my turn to check out, I mean, it wasn't huge. It was just a little bit of an inconvenience and a little annoying. But even that, I did not have to cop that attitude. Instead, I should have just sung. In my heart, that is. I mean, I'm sure they wouldn't have minded if I broke out in song at the cash register. They'd probably all start laughing. But my point is this. I got in the car, listen to this, 
And as we were pulling out, I began telling this story to my husband and, and Michael was, was amused by it. And just as we were pulling out and getting out, this huge stream of traffic started coming and people were doing stupid stuff like stopping when they shouldn't or turning when they, you know, without warning, that kind of thing. And Michael kind of hit the steering wheel and said, oh, these people, what are these crazy drivers? I mean, he wasn't like fuming or anything. He just like, ah, and I said, Michael, let's just sing. <laughs> So that definitely served for me as a lesson to say, you know what, when I'm upset, when I'm frustrated, when I have an opportunity to have one attitude or another, I think the best choice for me is to just sing. Now listen, go out and be a blessing to somebody today. You may end up being the only one who is. You know, if there's somebody out there you know going through a rough time, why don't you just sing a song with them? Maybe that'll lift their day. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and you will be notified every time another Take two is premiering. Okay, I've got to go. Got a big day ahead of me on this hump day. And one last thing. Happy, 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 happy. Many, many blessings. Birthday blessings, that is, to my dear, dear friend, Beverly, who is celebrating today. Hi, Bev. I just want to wish you the happiest of birthdays today. Hey, why don't you just sing yourself a little happy birthday ditty? Okay, I love you. I'll see you next week, okay? Oh! Of course, I had to at least do that once. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.